Hey everybody, today I have a little bit of a different video. I'm kind of doing a review slash how I personally use my Canon Selfie. This is model CP900 of the Selfie. There's also a CP800 I believe. It's made by Canon. So I got this for my birthday in January and it's now June so I've had it for a while and I absolutely love it. So we're going to go ahead and get started and show you how I use it. Um, I just use it with my phone, which is why I'm saying how I use it, because you can use it with your computer, with an SD card, but I only have ever used it from my iPhone. Um, I know that some people, you guys are going to ask where I got this case. Um, my friend got it on eBay, but anywho, I know some smartphones will not work with this. Which phones? I have no idea. So anyways, what I do is I take all my pictures on my iPhone. My iPhone takes better pictures than my nice camera. So the first thing I do is I go into photos and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda scroll through here okay I'll probably print these two pictures so I know which pictures I'm gonna print. So what I had to do was go on my in the app store and download this um, two different apps. The first one is Photo Collage, and it looks like this. So I don't know if it's focusing, but focusing. This one's called Photo Collage, and then you also need the Canon IEPP app. So Canon IEPP app. But the first thing I go is I go into Photo Collage, and this is going to set the ratio correct. Now my ratio for the Canon or for the selfie is 3.2. So I always print two photos on one piece of paper and that adds up to I think it's like 32 cents per piece of paper if you buy the bigger pack which is what I do and so it comes to about 14 cents um, a photo which I think is wonderful because I use the heck out of this thing. So the first picture I picked is a photo of Molly and I and you can kind of move it around on here. Some of the photo, you can't fit all of it because the ratio is pretty small, but pretty much fits all my photos normally. And then, oh, did I pass it? And then I'll, pick, or I'll print this picture. So now that I have these on here and the ratio is set correctly, I'm going to hit finish. And then I'm going to save to my photo album on my iPhone. Then I'm going to get out of this app and... The first thing you need to do, this has Wi-Fi, and your phone should have Wi-Fi. So what I have to do, which this was the hardest part about learning how to use this printer. Once you get this figured out, it's, sa it's smooth sailing, I promise. But I could not figure this out for the life of me. But what you got to do, you got to go in settings. You have to put CP's Wi-Fi onto your phone. You have to connect them. So right now, on Wi-Fi, I'm connected to my um, house Wi-Fi. So what I need to do is I need to click Wi-Fi, and by the, by the way, this is an iPhone 4S. And on here it says CP900. That's the Wi-Fi that I need to connect to. So I'm going to connect to CP900, and I'm connected because it has a check mark. So now these phones and the printer are connected. So next step, and by the way, I keep my phone right next to it when printing because you can't really go far away to, if you want it to work. So then you're going to go to your um, Canon IEPP app, click on it. It's going to load. Okay, then um, it says it's not connected to Wi-Fi. Sometimes it takes a minute. I know it is. So what I'm going to go to is Photo Album. And then I'm going to go to Camera Roll. And then at the very bottom, the very last picture, which it is on my phone is the picture that I had just saved and there it is and the ratio is set to, to print on a 4 by 6 um, paper so now it says that I have my one photo you can do a bunch of at a time I'll usually do like 5 or 6 which is really 12 photos because I do 2 on each page and it now says that we're connected see where it says printer Canon CP900 and what I need to do is put in the paper I usually uh, keep this but this is the paper um, holder so this actually gets opened up and it gets put in down here in this little spot here and there's also an ink cartridge already in here and then that just clicks in. The ink cartridge is right here. There's the ink. So now what I'm going to do 
I'm going to go on here and I'm going to hit print and then I'm going to keep this right here. And make sure this wire is not getting behind your paper because it will scratch it. Sometimes you guys will see my layouts and the photo has a little scratch on it. Um, I forget what kind of printing this is called. Uh, of course I can't remember. But it does like four different colors. I think it does red, yellow, blue, then it puts like a clear coat on it. Um, yeah, see the first one is yellow. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the first print is going to come out yellow. I'm going to see if I can find a photo that has a scratch on it. Um, but the, it, it's my fault that it has a scratch on it. It's not something that normally happens. But if I, don't, if I keep this wire back here, it might scratch the paper, and that's why you get that scratch line. But um, like I printed these photos off last night from the CP900. And, oh my gosh, I print pretty much, look at that, of course, crazy photo. I pretty much print all my photos on here, and they turn out awesome. So, let me go grab a layout with a scratch on it. Alright, so it printed, and it did four different sections. So, I let it dry for a few seconds because I have had scratches on my photo, but you can see right here, the scratch... So, I mean, you just got to be cautious of that. Anything other than that, I don't think I've ever had a problem. I've actually dropped this, and it still works, which is amazing. And um, my mom said she got this at Best Buy for me for, I think, $79 or $70, something like that, on sale. I saw online that the MSRP is $99, but, I mean, they're going for, like, $130 online. So, that's kind of weird. But I think you just need to shop around. And this also comes in white. Um, I got the black one, which is fine with me, but I absolutely love this. Um, I bring it to crops with me. It's extremely portable because this does come out, and then there's the pictures. And then on the ends here, you just pretty much bend this. And then that's how that goes. And you can only use the special paper. You can't go buy any kind of photo paper and use it in there. Because it is a special kind of printing. I, Of course, I always blank out when I do my video. But it's a special kind of uh, printing. When you guys look up reviews on this, I'm sure it will say it. So that's why you have to use a special paper. But um, I absolutely love this. I've been getting a lot of questions on it. And I've had it for a while now. So I figured I should do a little walkthrough of it. So if you guys scrapbook um, or do anything where you're always taking pictures and want to print them... I definitely recommend this because, you know, it's kind of a pain. It's not a pain, but, you know, you have to send them in online to, like, persnickety prints. Um, these are all Instagram photos, pretty much. Not all of them. Like, actually, I didn't post these on Instagram. But, like, all these, pretty much all these were Instagram photos. Like, all these four right here were all Instagram photos. And this is how I print mine. Um, and I want to say these are, like, two and a half by three and a half about... So, um, I know you can go through, like, Walgreens now and do Instagram prints. I don't know how much those cost, but I do all my photo printing on here now, and I absolutely love it. So, I hope this helped you out a little bit to decide whether you need a CP900 or not. So, have a great day, guys. Bye!